This is the Medusa trump. It has two bells. Without pressing down the fourth valve here, with it in the up position, the sound will come out the largest valve, which is a wider taper than any trumpets that I normally build or operate. It's much bigger than the taper on the number seven bell. And then when you press the fourth valve down, the sound will come out this lightweight lead commercial bell, which is very bright. The lead pipe is a number seven, which is something else I don't offer because it's so big and it's so open. It doesn't work for most people. Uh, I tend to play on very large equipment. The number seven actually creates a very broad sound on both of these bells, but you can definitely light up the, the light bell. Um, I like to put a mute sometimes in one of the bells or even both do a cup mute or um, a harmon mute combination. And with this valve, you can actually switch between a muted bell and an unmuted bell to have some really cool effects. And there's just a lot to look at on this horn. The trim kit is copper. The trim kit on the fourth valve is silver. The inlays here are Mexican fire opal in kind of an orangish green purple configuration. That's just all natural the way they mine them. And then they also have green and blue fire opal in Mexico. This horn has six finger rings, and sometimes I hold it this way, and sometimes I hold it like a normal horn, and once in a while I hold it this way, but I'm going to use something with one of the bells, and there's another little slot here for your pinky if you have smaller hands. This is the tuning slide.